Good day, beloved brothers and sisters from all around the world. I'm glad you're here today, you know, to really confront your broken agreements or address your agreements, remove your stop programs, and whatever holds you back will be clear today. So welcome to the first of November, a brand new month, new beginnings. Uh, hopefully this will give you the energy to do more than you can ever imagine going the extra mile. And maybe your clock is a little bit ticking for some of you because it's getting close to the year end, you know. And then you reflect back like, oh my gosh, I didn't do what I really had intended to do for the year, right? And that we call it procrastination. So welcome. My name is Jorjan Hendricks. I'm a success master level seven candidate, proud member of the club 712, the inner club in gin, proud member of the inner circle, proud party member, same speaker, professional speaker, uh, empower success uh, life coach, and more and more good stuff. But as always, it's not about the labels. It's not about certificates. It's really about you showing up and doing what you came here to do. And some of you will burn ship your, your passion, your purpose, your purpose, your, your, what you came here to do. And I highly endorse you not to give up on that and just say, oh, I'm just gonna say goodbye to it, you know. I just have to work for money and that's what I'm gonna do. But then you never will be fulfilled, content and happy, right? This is very important. It's perfectly fine, it's okay to have a temporary vehicle that just creates a living, but then do whatever it takes that, and the time that you have to invest that back into you so you can start really embracing you in a gift and feeling fulfilled. Of course, you really ultimately, when you have your last breath and you're ready to go to heaven to transcend the crook into your higher self, back to your original form and shape that you are, you don't want to die with the music within you. Sing your favorite song right now. Sing your favorite tune right now. Having a spring in your step every day and every way. Do whatever it takes to move forward. You didn't come here to go backwards. You are here to move forward, to step into your greatness, step into your greatness, step into your power, stepping into who you really are. Learn from the past. But move on, embrace the new lessons, the new experiences, the new wisdom and all that is shared with you in your journey. And ultimately, it's all in this question, who do you listen to? Ultimately, you remember who you are, and it will frighten some of you in the beginning, of course, like, then you will find out how powerful you really are. And once you're awake, you will never go back to sheep. Just, uh, let's engage and embark this glory of the right. Quote of the day, success is a journey, but not a destination. Success is a journey, not a destination. Some of you are in a roller coaster ride, Wah! and you scream in your lows, and then you go up again on the, on the ladder of success, and then you crash, that is life. Of course, when you're in your deepest low, it's where the magic really happens. There's where you're really reflecting what's holding you back, what you need to change. It really gives you the energy, the juice. It's like a blessing and, and gift in disguise that is showing up for you to learn what you came, really came here to do. Just embrace that. Be thankful, be grateful, appreciate, be blessed with it because it gives you clarity. And some of you, some of you need more crashes than, than you maybe have asked for, but that is your soul journey. You, you seek that experience so maybe it will shake up your world. And then that shaking up that world, you start remembering why you came here to do. And don't beat yourself down every day. I don't know what I came here to do. You will figure it out on the way. And if you look at a bigger time and space line, let's say worst case now, you never figured out in this lifetime. But you're just feeling good, you are blissful, you're happy every day, you do what you love every day, you sing your favorite song every day, 
but you have no freaking clue what you came here to do. It's perfectly fine because your soul journey, because the space and time is longer than your physical experience that you have in this world. You see, your time and space line is much longer. And that makes the law of attraction much more sense because you say, I didn't finish and complete what I came here to do. And yes, it is an oxymoron because you don't want to die with the music within you. But if you are feeling content, blissful, joyful, happy every day, do what you love, feel good most of the time or through the whole day and never have a bad day, you have lived your purpose. And don't beat, you, beat yourself down. I didn't create any tangibles in my life. Don't compare yourself with others. Some people, they do it intangibles, showing the world how powerful creative they are, and some are very powerful in creating the intangibles. And some of you are in, in harmony or balance or both. It doesn't matter. It's all that you feel good and do whatever it takes to leave positive, feel good vibration on this planet. And we lift up the energy to, ups, to serve, to uplift, and to inspire humanity around you every day and every way. One thing I let you know, if you love to leave something behind, not just the feel good memories, the experiences, who you are, what you have done for the planet, but you have done for the community, your family, your friends, your loved ones, everyone you connect with. I can assure you, they remember you more if you leave well behind. And they say, how? I just feel good. I don't know. I'm not worthy and deserving for money, for my services. I understand. But you can leave well behind. And it doesn't cost you much. Let's say your belief level and belief system is still in the place. I'm not worthy and deserving to get paid for my services, the value added that I give to my services. That's perfectly fine. Somewhere in your journey, you will find a way where you can make that happen and make it come to fruition. But you can at least create a term insurance. It's like 20 bucks a month for five or 10 or 20, 30 years. That will leave millions behind. Or you can do a whole life insurance or universal life insurance. There's things you can put in place. Because the great thing is, when you, not just leaving amazing memories of you on this planet, but also leave some well behind, they will remember you even more. And it doesn't have to cost you a lot. 20 bucks can leave a million, two million in cash behind. Of course, even you're maybe a wandering generality, right? You're just floating around. And you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what your purpose is, why you came here to do. And you just, maybe you're still in the seeking mode. You think you're not enough. You're not worthy and deserving. You, you still think you're the forever student. You can take a small decision. Maybe do a term, a whole life, universal life. Because you know those companies are performance driven. They do whatever it takes to getting results. Even you are yourself. I'm not getting the tangible results. They are the tangibles. There's, it's just a way, how do you set yourself up to win? And it does not leave an amazing memory and remembrance of who you are as a magnificent, beautiful, almighty being that you are, but also leaves them well behind that maybe can address maybe aches and pains or bills that were not taken care of because you were just enjoying your life and that's perfectly fine. But then, your loved ones, your family, your friends, or the charity of your, the charity of your, your desires can benefit from your gift. And that, again, in that form, you can take life more lightly because even you are successful or just okay or not successful, or you're still in the seeking or figuring out mode or try to see why you came here, what your purpose is. It removes the pressure because you know when you move on and go back to your, to your highest vibrational being that you are, you already know that the money part is taken care of and you will be more remembered because you do not leave burdens behind. Just read the book, you know, Zero Texas is a great book that was endorsed by uh, David Fong, you know, one of my dear friends that I work with on a daily basis. There's 
really do something. Even you don't know what you don't know. It's off your radio screen. You have no freaking clue. Don't worry. Don't focus what you don't want. Start focus what you really want. Just do one little step. This is, in my opinion, one of the most easiest way to set yourself up to win, so you'll be remembered, notice, and all the joy and beautiful things you have given to this world, but they even will be, will be, you will be more remembered because you do not leave any burdens behind. Of course, what happens most of the time, you, living an amazing life, you inspire people, everything is beautiful. You are so content, blissful, you live in Nirvana, you never have a bad day. It's an amazing life that you have. You inspire millions around the world, how you live. And then you leave millions of that behind. The thing is, that will be more memorized by the people than the wealth you leave behind. It's the simple thing, my tip of the week, you know, if you tie the budget, let's go for term insurance. It's very competitive. You will leave at least a few million dollars behind. That will be great. And if you are more magical thinking big, you think bigger, do a universal life or do a whole life. Those things could be usually benefiting you to create wealth, have a money vehicle, create your own bank. You can loan anytime you need money from that. And if you never pay back that loan, you're going to leave well behind. And even if you're a citizen of the U.S. or non-citizen of the U.S., you can have this opportunity. If you'd like to know more about it, just reach out to me. It's, it's a great gift. Of course, it's really powerful when you figure out that you become your own banker and you're learning the rule of safety tool too and you're learning the compounding interest that you're never going to get from your regular bank account. And remember, success in life is in decision no way. As always, we have maybe an experience, or experiencing, or some of you have an experience, or maybe on sabbatical in gin, just have a timeout about gin, because you were not resting in what happened in the past, because you let those burdens be a weight on your shoulders, or you have to just learn in gym to put it back down and just went on a different path of life. Whatever you choose, it's home to okay. But there's a magical moment in the past. Everything that had happened within gin was done for specific reasons. It was through the others, purify, cleaning, trimming the trees leaving the real core of people behind that really people can benefiting from from a daily basis. But the power of pause is important. Of course, are you really mastering the basics? Have you really gone to level one, two, three, four, five, six? Are you still an intellect? Or maybe you already moved to knowing. You can see it so clearly in your mind. You can feel it. You can see it from 360 degrees. You can see it from all different angles. And then you connect to feeling, you're, you, you're getting the training into your feeling, in your beingness, in your awareness, and you should be living it. You can back, you say, it's time to release level seven. It's time that we move on. It's time to release new levels. It's time to go uh, giving new, give, give me the next level. I want it now. Some of you say, I'm patient now, <laughs> right? But just have the power of the past. Go back to the basics, master basics. You already see if you're going to the Nix of Gold newsletter from KT or the mastery uh, personal life course that KT shares from his whole day resort is very profound, very deep. The question is, are you ready for the next level? Or you just want to go wide. I just want to know more and more stuff. I want to know the 10,000 different forms of punching and kicking and doing moves. Or are you going to practice one punch 10,000 times and become the master of the punch? And you just do poof. That's so powerful. The person will just move a few feet in the room because the energy and the intention because you become the master. Focus creates success. 
You can be a light bulb, bling, 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 or you can be a laser focus or laser beam. It has the same power. But the laser beam is so focused, the energy that you, when you hit your aim, you'll hit it 99% of the time. Then shining light over the whole thing. Just as always, engage listening to Uplayer Thing audios every day. Watching the webinars that is released every week or the past webinars. Reading books, maybe add some new books to it or stick to the basic book pack that KT endorsed. Maybe follow the, the Pacific way, the, the, the Pacific books, the numbers, the, 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 the order of the books, right? Work on that. Are you giving and receiving recognition at, at, every day? Are you edify people every day? Are you maybe reflecting back edification? I may be writing thank you cards for people that have a positive impact in your life or people that have touched you or vice versa. Are you learning new verbal advantage? Have you created your own personal dictionary with the root words, the original words, where the word came from? Have you disengaged any negative associations that you have with the words? Of course, words are a spell. Do you want to be a fact of the spoken word? Words? Want to be, do you want to be a fact of the spoken word? Or do you want to break that spell of the spoken word so it has no longer control over you and really break free from the spell that the word has over you? That's really the reason when you want to learn and expand your verbal advantage. And people that are more well-spoken and can express themselves better have less chance to be, be connected or interfering or be involved in the legal system. Of course, they do not go from, oh, I cannot express, I'm just going to beat the crap out of us. No, you can use the words to disengage and releasing the energy, the peace feeling, the anger, the anxiety, whatever you have, to release that. So you are become in control of your life, but better be be in charge of your life. A lot of you out there, I want to be in control of my life. Good luck. You're like donkey shot fighting windmills. Be in charge of your life. Take ownership. Take responsibility. Stand in your power. That is, in my opinion, much more important. And if you have things that hold you back, belief, programs, apostles, beliefs, habits, do some emotional freedom technique, do some thought field, thought field therapy, do some bioenergetic synchronization technique, do some Mary Miller, do some Honopono, do whatever release technique that you have in your toolbox and apply it. And remember, you have a 10 second window to change your state. So it will not be remembered. It's called the 10 second miracle. And the 10 second miracle is really saying taking 100% responsibility for everything and everything in your life. There's no one else to blame. The only one you can blame is you. You cannot control others. You can do by force, you can be used by words, you can maybe do it by, by the legal system. You try to control, but that means you are not confronting it. You're not willing to confront it. You're not willing to address it. You're not willing to release because you are a frequency, vibration, energy generator. And what you create, that will attract whatever you vibrate, that energy that in you, the things that you have, whatever you broadcast outwards is what you're going to attract. And if you don't really appreciate what you surround yourself with on a daily basis, don't blame the world. Start working on you. Start weeding your weeds, cleaning up your frequency vibration. And don't be obsessed about it. Sometimes just accept it is what it is. But apply the training. Make it a habit. You can blame your karma. You can blame your past lives. You can boo-hoo, your worst story. Whoa. I know we all have those experiences. We all create equal in that part. 
that just their patterns, lessons to learn, so you can evolve, grow, expand. And when you expand, you will never go back to your original shape. You're always growing, you're always expanding. You have to keep in mind, often on the day of conception, you were a born winner, right? You were the strongest swimmer. You won the sperm race. And I told you, from sperm race, you go into the human race, and some of you get stuck in the red race. You're just in a treadmill. <laughs> but remember, when you were swimming to the Holy Grail, seen it, to meet the egg, to create you, you won the race. But you had no agenda. Let me paraphrase that. You have an agenda to create you. You had a purpose, you had a destiny to create you, but you didn't have diplomacies, you didn't know how to swim, you didn't know how to do it maybe, you don't have plans, you don't have certificates or a label, you only have one purpose, is to create you. Think about it. You're just following your knowingness, your beingness, your essence, you're just following your, your gut feeling or your DNA or your programming, and you create you. There were no plans, no education involved, anything. It just does. And then the magic happens, the miracle happens. You become one cell, two cells, three cells, four cells. Did you think about it? No, because the first organ that grows is your heart. <laughs> and your body every day is nature's greatest miracle, is growing and expanding. It's reborn and dying. You have the power with your thoughts and your feelings to change your DNA, change your beingness, change your frequency, your vibration, your essence of you. You are never the same person. If you need more support and more help, go to local chapter meetings, go to Mastering Success Mastery courses. Especially if you have a lot of setbacks in your life and life is not going the way you want, go to Meiji events. Be there in Orenstein, in Aruba. Surround yourself with like-minded, positive people and blow whatever holds you back out of your system. Check out all the events on access.events. So let's do some releases. So I did some triggers for a reason. And uh, let's embark this right now. It's going to do a releasing agreement that is not serving your highest good. And remember, most of your agreements that you agree to, the 90% of your belief system, your programs, your habits, your apostles, are not you. You just say, oh yeah, it's mine, it's mine. It's mine, it's mine, because you didn't discern, you didn't think about it, you didn't slow down, and you just hop, 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 hop. And especially these days with a short attention span, swirl, right? The mind, whew. we only have the 10, 15 minutes attention span, and then we start digressing, talking and gossiping, like parrots, talking about what we just heard, without even thinking about what we just heard. We just start cloning, copying, and then things start diluting. Purple sheep, yellow sheep, orange sheep, golden sheep, black sheep, rainbow sheep. Was well, the same story, right? And your whole purpose is to reclaim that the 90% and the only 10% is the original touch of you going to 20, 30, 40, 50. And in this process, you start remembering who you are. Just uh, let's break those agreements to some uh, EFT, TFT tapping and just enjoy the glow of the right. So take some deep breath in. And breathe out. Take some deep breath in. And breathe out. Take a deep breath in, we're looking up to the crown of your head, hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Just follow me, monkey see, monkey. Do. 
Just repeat after me. I choose to make better agreements with myself. I choose to make better agreements with myself. And I choose to love and accept myself. I choose to make better agreements with myself as never before. And I choose to love, honor myself. I choose to make better agreements with myself. Because some of the ways that I have been thinking, because some of the ways that I have been thinking, and some of the ways I have been behaving aren't really working for me anymore. And these, and these, and they suggest, <laughs> and they suggest that I have made some agreements in the past, which is, which it might be time to break. Which is might be time to break. And I choose to make better agreements with myself. And I choose to make better agreements with myself. And I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And anyone else who helped me from those old agreements. And anyone else who helped me form those old agreements. They were doing the best they could. Follow me. I choose to make better agreements with myself as never before. I choose to make better agreements with myself. And that means letting go of some old agreements. And a part of me might resist that. It might feel like I am breaking my word. And if I have made a promise to do harm to myself or others, that is a good agreement to break. I am letting go of those old agreements which no longer serve me. I am opening myself up to some powerful new agreements. I choose to be impeccable with my word. I choose to be impeccable with my word. I choose to be impeccable with my bond. Impeccable means not sinning not doing harm to myself or others. And my word is powerful. And my world, and my word is powerful. So when I'm using the power of my word, so when I am using the power of my word, I choose for it to be very positive. I choose to use my words in a way that benefits myself and others. Letting go of any need to use my words in a harmful way. Clearing that stuff behind that. 
clearing the stuff behind that. Clearing the stuff behind that. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Clearing, clearing any old fear and anger. Breathe in. And breathe out. Which caused me to misuse my words. Freeing myself up to be impeccable with my words. Freeing myself up to be impeccable with my words. I am letting go of the need to take anything personally. I'm letting go of the need to take anything personally. Take a deep breath in, breathe out. People aren't always nice to me. And too often I have assumed that was because of me. And too often I assumed that was because of me. I got to stop taking responsibility for everybody else behavior. I got to stop taking responsibility for everybody else behavior. I don't know what is going on inside of them. I don't know what is going on inside of them. So I am letting go of the need to take things so personally. I choose to know that I am worthy and deserving of love. I choose to know that I am worthy and deserving of all the love the world has to offer. And I'm clearing all my doubts about that. And I am clearing all my doubts about that. Take a deep breath in. Blow it out. I choose to remember that I am awesome. I choose to remember that I am awesome. And I am clearing all my doubts about that now. And I am clearing all my doubts about that now. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. And when I allow myself to remember that I am awesome and worthy of love, and when I allow myself to remember that I am awesome and worthy of love, I know that when other people treat me otherwise, I know that when other people treat me otherwise, it is not because of something about me. It is not because of something about me. And I let go of the need to take things personally. And I am making the agreement with myself today. I am letting go of the need to make assumptions. I'm letting go of the need to make assumptions. Because when you assume, you make an ass of you and me. A part of me is afraid of asking questions. So rather than asking for clarification, I often jump to conclusions and often not the most positive conclusions, and often not the most positive conclusions. Not only do I often assume things, not only do I often assume things, I often assume the worst. Not because I'm bad or stupid. I just had a lot of training in do this. I just had a lot of training in doing this. 
and clearing all that stuff behind that and clearing all the stuff behind that now. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. And I'm clearing the fear of asking questions. And I am clearing the fear of asking questions. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. I choose to get clarity. I choose to get clarity now. So that I am not making assumptions. So that I am not making assumptions. Clearing the need to make assumptions. And I'm making that agreement with myself. And I choose to always to do my best. And I choose always to do my best. I'm making an agreement. I am making an agreement with myself to do always do my best. I am making an agreement with myself to always do my best. And at the times, and at the times, acknowledging, and at the some, and at some times acknowledging, <laughs> and at some times acknowledging that I pretty much always do my best anyway. That I pretty much always do my best anyway. It is just that my best is not always great. It is just that my best is not always great. My best is better at some times than other times. My best is better at some times than other times. And I choose to love and forgive myself. Even though my best isn't always perfect, I am allowing my best to get better. I am making a decision now. I'm making an agreement now to challenge myself to always do my very best. And I am clearing the stuff that gets in the way of that now. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. <sighs> clearing this stuff that limits me. Clearing this stuff that limits me. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Clearing the stuff that stops me from doing my best. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Clearing the stuff that stops me from doing my best. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Clearing the stuff that conveys me. Clearing the stuff that conveys me that is okay not to do my best. Take a deep breath in. Rebound. I deserve better now. I deserve to be the best now. So I am agreeing to always do my best, whatever it takes. And to keep allowing my best to go get better and keeping along and to keep allowing my best to get better. I am worthy and deserving of positive consequences of making those agreements with myself and keeping those agreements with myself. I'm being impeccable with my word and bond. I am letting go of the need to take anything personally. I am letting go of the need to make assumptions. Take a deep breath in. 
Slow down. I am striving always to do my best. And I am always striving to do my best. And I am striving to do always do my best in body, mind, and soul that I am. Take a deep breath in, close your eyes. And breathe out. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Take a deep breath in. May blow out. Let all the agreements that do not longer serve your eyes just blow it out. <sighs> Fantastic. Thank you for doing that. This will help you. It helps your community, community, your country, the world, and the collective consciousness to clear this out of the universe. And you probably feel different than we started before. We learn a powerful concept in Jin, the power of cancel, cancel. Just think for a moment, what's the last time you have used this concept in your life? Is it a day ago, an hour ago, a week ago, a month ago, maybe half a year ago, a year ago? I either have forgotten about this principle, have you applied it? Just a question. Of course, cancel cancel is so looks so simple. Oh, I I know better techniques, right? But there are better techniques, or they're not, or they're equal or same. Whatever technique you use, long it changes your state. But cancel cancel is really well explained in Jin. And you already know you cannot control your thoughts, of course that will be very tiring. But you can be in charge of your thoughts when you speak, when the words comes out. And then say cancel, cancel, you clean or delete that what you just said, and then paraphrase it, rephrase it in a positive way. If you tell your story, whoa, your negative story, your boo -boo 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 story, you can still do that, but then say cancel, cancel, and then tell the story of who you want to be. When you cut yourself on the negative statement, cancel, cancel, say cancel, cancel and then replace with a with positive statement. Because sometimes, oh, frick, I can't pay my bills. Cancel, cancel, I can pay my bills. So if you cut, got yourself and you pick up a negative thought that is not serving your eyes good, say cancel, cancel. And then replace it with a positive statement. If you do not know what to say, just say cancel, cancel, every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. That is like, a line that you can say after everything that comes up. Because when you have a negative situation or experience that didn't serve you, you say, cancel, cancel. You're overwhelmed, your mind doesn't work at the moment. Just say, every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. Cancel, cancel has to be in autopilot. And when you do this every day, you practice every day, you use every day, you don't even think about it, just go by itself. Crap, I ran out of gas. Cancel, cancel. I know after going to be well and I couldn't find the best gas price in town. Poof, two bucks per gallon, <laughs> right? Just every time you get yourself or got, got yourself on the negative mind, right? You have a negative thought pops up, say cancel, cancel, replace it with what you want to be. If you notice there's crap and junk and things out of your mouth that are not serving you, you get hanged by the tongue, right? The tongue is the creative force. Say cancel, cancel, and re-paraphrase it in the most positive way. So I want you really this week for, for coming seven days, give permission to other people to say cancel, cancel, when you tell your story, whoa, or things that are not serving you, and help you to be paraphrased in a positive way or re-window, reframed, so you become more aware of the positive things. Really apply this simple technique on experiences, adversity, when things happen to you, when you are losing control of the things around you, or you meet people that you maybe have an argument with and they say, cancel, cancel, out loud. Don't tell them, Betsy, Betsy, don't do that, right? <laughs> then it can escalate. But say cancel, cancel, and anytime you have a negative situation or a challenge, 
that are not serving for your highest good, say cancel, cancel, and then focus or say on the positive affirmation or words or paraphrasing or express what the outcome you will be. And you have 10 seconds to do that. It's not like, oh my God, oh my God. And two hours, two minutes later, you're still in oh my God state, right? <laughs> Then you missed opportunity. You have a 10 second miracle. That means you take a dead unit of time, take 100% responsibility for everything and everything in your life by saying cancel, cancel, and paraphrase, and then rephrase in the most positive way. If you are blank out, just say every day in every way, I am getting better and better. Or if that's too long, you say cancel, cancel, all is well in my world. Simple. Just apply the concept, cancel, cancel. It's a powerful concept. You can have huge experience and you will see really that you are, when you start living this principle, applying the cancel, cancel principle, that you're gonna be in charge of life more than you can ever imagine. Remember, you have 10 seconds to change your reality. Don't let it slide by, don't let it escalate. And if the cancel, cancel is not working, You've been canceling like, like, an, like a madman or mad woman on that moment's time. And cancel, cancel, cancel. And you don't get any results because the rat is in your head. It's just gnawing and multiplying, growing and trembling. It drives you insane. I can understand. Then go over into EFT, TFT, Tothfield therapy, right? By incarnation, by and incarnation, signation technique, best, right? I'm getting better every day and every way in that word. Bioenergetic synchronization technique. Wow, poof, correction, done. Or Honopono or any other release technique to get yourself feeling better or getting better or feeling gooder and gooder. Work on that every day. Just practice, cancel, cancel. Everything you have a negative encounter, feeling, emotion, word, or thought. And mainly set focus on your spoken word because that is the, the ones you can address the quickest. Very, very, very powerful. Another thing, if you lose control of your life, you're like, oh, life is against me. Just say this. Yes, I am in charge of my life. Boom. Do that three times. And that will raise your vibration. And that means you're in charge of your life. You're taking ownership. Another thing that we have learned in gin, when you break agreements, don't let it slide, slide by, confront them, say, yes, I broke my agreement, and now I know that every day in every way, I am getting better and better. Make that agreement, when you break it, acknowledge that broken agreement, because if you don't acknowledge it, you're gonna get more broken agreement installed of you, that becomes like a weight on your shoulders that holds you back to move forward. And one thing we learned, and you can say cancel, cancel when you break agreement. You're late, cancel, cancel. I'm late, cancel, cancel. I know every day and every day I'm getting better and better to be on time. That's another way. Acknowledge your broken agreements, work on them. Even if one minute late, say, Charlie, my apologies, I'm one minute late, but next time or every day, never, I'm getting better and better. Acknowledge that. You can do it in your mind, out loud, or to the person you're, you're gonna meet. Acknowledge your broken agreements. It's so important for you. Of course, when you don't address the broken agreements, you're gonna get more installed in it, and you say, why I do not move forward? Because you have so much baggage of broken agreements. And then, like attracts like. People will not show up at your meetings. They will be late. They will not keep to their promise or their agreements. And they say, why is it happening to me? Because you didn't address it, right? You didn't take responsibility for it. <laughs> so that's very important for you to work on your broken agreements. When you break them, acknowledge them, confront them, take responsibility for it, say, yes, I take responsibility, I broke this agreement. But I know now that every day in every way, I am getting better and better. The one we also do in gin, not just cancel, cancel, but you can have a little ant 
or little insects that is not your preference. It's just an Im 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 imaginary ant, right? There's no real creatures harmed in the process. And a little ant says, na 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 na, you're gonna pay your bills, you're never gonna get that, la na 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 na. Let them talk, let them yap, you know? And then you say, cancel, cancel. You, you squash the buck, and then you say, I'm gonna pay all my bills, I'm gonna take care of everything. All my bills are paid. Use that, there's nothing wrong with anger or negativity if you use that emotion that is emotion at the moment of time to focus on what you want. Very, very important. But if your mind is not conditioned or trained correctly, you are many start focusing on all the worst case scenarios. And the universe says, your wish is your command. It's that's granted. And say, no, 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 I don't want that. <laughs> and say, cancel, cancel. <laughs> and then replace your order every time. <laughs> All right, let me prepare for this part and then we are all good. Feelings. I'm going to share your slide with you. And you probably have seen this before, but knowing about it is perfect. But knowing, really knowing it is the difference. You probably have seen this before. Successful people are always willing to do what the other guys aren't willing to do. Successful people are too busy doing what the other guys are still talking about. Successful people are always willing to do what the other guys are not willing to do. Successful people are always willing to do what the other guys is too good to do. And successful people are always willing to do what is inconvenience. And when you break those principles, you align them, they become your servant, they start serving you, then you are in the success cycle. Your success builds confidence, comes creates activities, activity creates success habits, success habits create success, which builds confidence, and then you're on the roll, you're on fire. So what I want you to do is to read the success phrases out loud. And before you do it, we're going to put you in a test state so you get more access to source. Just close your eyes for a moment. When you breathe in, your eyes look up to the crown of your head, hold it. And when you breathe out, relax your eyes. Take a deep breath in, we're looking up to the crown of your head, hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Take a deep breath in, we're looking up to the crown of your head, hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Now open your eyes and read out loud. Successful people are always willing to do what the other guys aren't willing to do. Successful people are too busy doing what the other guys are still talking about. Successful people are always willing to do what the other guys are not willing to do. Successful people are always willing to do what the other guys too good to do. Successful people are always willing to do what is inconvenient. Just look at those questions or those statements. And I'm going to test you in past, present, future so we can bring in coherence and alignment so you start really start doing what you came here to do. So take a deep breath in, hold your breath, say your mind's eye. Yes, I am releasing any and all blocks with feeling resentment towards successful people in all direction of time and space. And blow it out. And breathe in. Hold your breath, say in mind's eye, yes, I am releasing any and all blocks with feeling resentment towards successful people in all directions of time and space and blow it out. And breathe in. 
yes, I am releasing all positive and negative emotional blocks with successful people are always willing to do what the other guys aren't willing to do in all directions of time and space and blow it out. And breathe in. Yes, I am releasing all positive and negative emotional blocks with successful people are too busy in all directions of time and space and blow it out. And breathe in. Yes, I am releasing all positive and negative emotional blocks with successful people are too busy in all directions of time and space and blow it out. And breathe in. Yes, I am releasing any and all blocks with successful people are too busy doing what the other guys are still talking about in all directions of time and space and blow it out. And breathe in. Yes, I am releasing all positive and negative emotional blocks with doing the things that are inconvenient for me in all directions of time and space and blow it out. And take a deep breath in. Yes, I am releasing any and all blocks with feeling persecuted by successful people that I am never good enough in all directions of time and space and blow it out. Take a deep breath in. Yes, I am happy, thankful and grateful that I am successful and always willing to do what the other guys aren't willing to do and blow it out. Take a deep breath in, say in mind's eye, yes, I am so happy, thankful, and grateful that I am so busy what the other guys are still talking about and blow it out. And breathe in. Yes, I'm so happy, thankful, and grateful that I am successful and always willing to do what the other guys are not willing to do and blow it out. And breathe in. Yes, I'm so happy, thankful, grateful that I am a successful person and I'm always willing to do what is inconvenient and blow it out. Repeat after me out loud. Success builds confidence. Confident creates activity. Activity creates success habits. Success habit creates success, which builds confidence. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Perfect. The common dominator of all successful people is dividing a dream and having a burning desire for its achievement. Have you redefined or looked at or clarified your burning desire? There's divine a dream having burning desire to achieve it. You have clarity in your mind, right? It's very, very powerful, very important. And you really, when you have burning desire, you can feel it in your gut, you can feel it in your heart. When you feel it in your gut, it's past, when you feel it in your heart, it's present. And it has to be so burning desire that you, you want to have it, that you really want it so badly that you can taste it. You have to got it to want it so badly that you can taste it. Can you taste what you really, really, really want? And ask this question to yourself, what do you want? What do I want? What is my goal? What is your goal? Are you sick of being tired, being sick of being tired? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired where you are? Are you ready to move forward? Ask those questions for the coming seven days. What is my goal? What, is, what, what, what do I want? What do I desire? 
what do you want so badly that you can taste it? You, you can just sink your teeth into it. What is your dream? What is my dream? Ask those questions. And if it blanks or you have crickets or you're nothing, don't worry, just keep on asking till you get information. Or say this, I am loving, I'm loved, I'm lovable forever. And then ask those questions. Make a commitment every day to go with those questions. What do I want? What do I desire? What is my goal? What is my purpose? What is my chief aim? What is my next logical step? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Or are you just comfortable? Maybe you need a little kick in the butt and then pat on the back. What do you want so badly that you can taste it? What is your dream? Make commitment to ask those questions for the coming days can tremendously help you to get more clarity, get in alignment, coherent, and really move forward and really starting fulfilling your purpose. And if you don't get answers or you don't get clarity, don't hang yourself. Don't become a hanger. Just say cancel, cancel. Say, I don't know how, but I know that all is well. I don't know how, but every day and every way, I'm getting better and better. Always end with a positive statement. Very, very important. Make this commitment for seven days. What do you want? What is your goal? What do you want so better you can taste it? What's your dream? What's your desire? Work on that. Especially, what do you want? Ask this. What do I want? You can answer. Why do I want that? Answer. And then keep on digging the well of why. Go deep so you can feel it. When you feel it, you found your why, everything falls in place. If you don't know your why, of course, 99% of your success is your why, not the how. Your mindset is so important. If you're going to tap into this frequency of emerge, and this is just a cherry in the pie to integrate it into you. In your trusted surroundings, you are free. But as soon as you come into contact with others, you bury your feelings. You bury your feelings. You shut yourself up in a cocoon to protect yourself from rejection. Please know that your vulnerability is the strength as an opposite to a weakness. You need courage to speak your truth when you are in the company of others, where shutting yourself up blocks your spiritual growth. And you will never find the perfect partner or come in contact with people who can't help you further. You let no one in because you do not show yourself. And the freeze of emergence and emerge helps to break out of your cocoon, which you hesitated without hesitation, and you help helps you to spread your wings and show who you truly are. The freaks of emergence helps you to break out of your cocoon without hesitation and helps you to spread your wings and show who you truly are. When you get out of your cocoon, you become a beautiful butterfly and you fly freely, freely and with an intention from I care, but not that much. You're like-hearted. You have a childlike personality. You are free. Just repeat after me. After we do the data, close your eyes, take a deep breath in. Look up to the crown of your head, hold it. Breathe out, relax your eyes. Take a deep breath in and look up to the crown of your head, hold it. Breathe out, relax your eyes. Take a deep breath in and look up to the crown of your head, hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Keep your eyes closed and repeat with me seven times. I Take the challenge to show who I really am. I take the challenge to show who I really am. I take the challenge to show who I really am. I take the challenge to show who I really am. I take the challenge to show who I really am. I take the challenge to show who I am really am. I take the challenge to show 
who I really am. Take a deep breath in. Open your eyes. Look at the center of your screen. And repeat after me out loud. Yes, I am integrating this frequency as never before that I am now. And it is so. I'm the light, the light I am. Let's focus in the center of your screen. Take a deep breath in. Focus on the sound of the screen. And just let yourself immerse yourself into this into this frequency. Take a deep breath in and breathe out gently. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and breathe out gently. Take a deep breath in and breathe out gently. Take a deep breath in and breathe out gently. Let, let, let this feeling, this experience of emerging yourself, who you really are, grow and expand to the size of the sun purifying your body, mind, and soul. And only pure essence of who you really are is remaining in every part of your being. You fully remember who you are, where you came from, why you came here to do, what your purpose is. You have complete remembrance. You feel your love. You feel your essence, your knowingness. You are all-knowing, all-loving, all-light. You are perfect right now. You are perfect. You are worthy and deserving. You are perfect. You are loved. It is your time to shine so bright. Be the beacon of light in the world towards yourself and others. It's time to awake. It's time to remember. It's time to be in charge of a life. It's your time. It is your time. So be it. So let it be done. And it is so. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Open your eyes, look at the center screen and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Repeat after me out loud. I am here. I am here. I am here. I know who I am. I know what I am. I know who I serve. I'm word through my body, 
Word, I am word. And word through my vibration. Word, I am word. And word through my intention. Word, I am word. And word through my knowing myself as word. Word, I am word. May I be illuminating the word superiority as never before that I am now. May I be illuminating the word supremacy as never before that I am now. May I be illuminating the word success as never before that I am now. And it is so. May I be illuminating the word success as never before that I am now. And it is so. I'm the light, the light I am. I am in love. Yes, I am. I receive this. I'm integrating this frequency as never before that I am now. And it is so. I'm the light, the light I am. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. When you're ready, come back to this beautiful bowl. Just say thank you, thank you, thank you. It's my absolute honor to serve you every week with all my heart, all my love, all my desire to be with you, to, to be this moment with you, to create an amazing reality where you can happen into whatever your heart desire. I'd love from you to hear what did you get out of this webinar? What did you like the most? I know for sure you feel different than we just started. I say to you, namaste, to meet again.